A judicial crisis is emerging in the United States. Jeffrey Berman, a federal attorney in Manhattan, has resisted what looks like a Justice Department-led attempt to oust him from his job. Let's give you a step-by-step -step account of how these things unfolded on Friday. Reports of Berman stepping down first emerged after Attorney General William Barr said that Berman had resigned after a two-and-a-half-year stint. Barr gave no reason or explanation on Berman's abrupt resignation. The White House quickly announced that the president was nominating Jay Clayton to succeed Berman. Clayton is the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Even though a lawyer, Clayton has little experience as a federal prosecutor. Within just hours of the statement by the bar, Jeffrey Berman rejected all such claims. In a statement, Berman said, and I quote, I have not resigned and have no intention of resigning my position. He said that he will stay on the job till a Trump nominee is confirmed by the Senate. The question is, why is Jeffrey Berman facing the ire of the Judicial Department under President Donald Trump? The answer could be found by looking at the cases under Berman's investigation. Berman has overseen the prosecution of key allies of President Trump. This includes his current personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, and even his former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Berman's department is investigating the conduct of Giuliani. Giuliani is under a probe for pushing Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to dig up dirt on Democratic President candidate Joe Biden. And remember, President Trump was uh, impeached by the Congress over the scandal. Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer, is serving a three-year prison sentence on charges of lying to the Congress and finance fraud during Trump's presidential campaign. Cohen's prosecution was also seen by Jeffrey Berman. Berman is also leading an investigation into the high-profile Jeffrey Epstein case. Epstein was a friend of Donald Trump. In the past, Trump has admitted knowing Epstein for years. Speculation is high that the president could have a link to the alleged sex trafficking network of Epstein. Connecting the dots, it seems that President Trump is trying to settle a score with Berman. Now, this standoff is also likely to raise questions on Attorney General Barr. Senior Democrat leaders have accused Barr of politicizing the U.S. Justice Department and making legal decisions at the behest of President Trump.